Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video and today we have NECA Halloween Ultimate Michael Myers and it includes a light up flickering pumpkin but I love the box art, it's just like once you see it it's just like gives you those, it, it's Halloween you know and plus it says it all over the box you know multiple multiple times and does say NECA as well so Halloween all over and then on the back it does show the uh, figure posed up all blurry. No, it's not really blurry, but figure posed up. And that's something I give huge kudos to NECA on doing is they actually take their figure that they make and pose to them and do fun images to show off. This is what you can actually do with the figure. Now, the figure has that nice Velcro opening box here. And... Uh, Yet Michael standing in the doorway looking awesome, but you can't see it because there's a blur right there, or glare. But yeah, that looks awesome. Then you get Michael and all his goodies right there. But let's get Michael out of the package. Out of the package looks great. And he does come with his sister's tombstone, which to me is uh, pretty morbid, but definitely awesome. And it looks pretty good. I wish I had a little bit more wash to it. Um, just to give it a little bit more tombstone look. And it's very thin. Like, it's a very thin, and there's nothing going on in the back, and it's hollow on the bottom. So, I mean, it's a cool little thing that they gave us. I just wish it was maybe thicker um, and added a little bit more, maybe some texture or something, or more wash to make it look like a tombstone. So we'll set that there. Um, he does come with a variety of accessories and hands, as you guys saw when I did the little flap open opening. Um, and we'll look at his hands here. So he does come with some blurry hands now. Comes with two gripping hands. And, you know, they're really well done, well sculpted. They got nice texture going to them. They got blood on them. Uh, this one's a little bit more clean, but it still has blood on them. So you get the two gripping hands. The one that has the coating of blood, this one over here looks so much better. I mean, they're both good, but I just like how it just looks like a bloody hands. Then we get a open palm hand that, again, has blood on it. You know, and the, the paint they use gives it a nice shiny effect. It's not like uh, what Storm Collectibles uses for their bloody variants. Like, this actually looks really nice. Maybe NECA needs to share their blood paint technique with Storm Collectibles so we can get some nice bloody variants that actually look good. Then we get the nasty missing two fingers hands. Um, that just looks so good and gnarly. The blood and just the nastiness. I love it. I love it. I mean, it's getting extra accessories and just like the amount of detail. Like NECA is insane. NECA is insane with their details. And let's continue with the bloody uh, part of everything. Let's get into this dude's face that has been carved up like a jack-o'-lantern. So gnarly. Yeah, we get some seam lines, but it's awesome. Like, this thing is, like, hollowed out. Look at that. That's so, so gross. I wonder if... Let me check. Let me grab a light really quick. So I just wanted to bring this in because since he's hollow, I wanted to bring in a light and sort of see how the light projects up inside. And yeah, you can see that it's definitely nicely hollow if it'll focus. Come on, let's focus here. I know the light's throwing everything off, but again, the detail they put inside this thing to make it hollow and nasty. So you can get like probably a little LED light and put it inside to make his... Make it all stand out, but this thing is pretty gnarly. Then we get a alternate head for him. We get the typical, can't see my eyes, creepy, soulless looking Michael Myers. And this thing is awesome. Hair sculpted on pretty nicely. It would have been cool if they would have gave us flocked hair, but it may not have been able to hold the the look. It might have looked a little bit goofy, but this thing, it literally looks like a mini Michael Myers mask that you can almost put on. So, I mean, it's pretty awesome. I like it. Again, the details, the dirtiness, 
So good. Then we get into a very, very awesome piece, and that is a uh, the pumpkin we've seen from the latest movie. Um, been cool if it was the original style design pumpkin, but it does have a little tab right there. So you just slide that out. That's what that allows you to do. Turn the light on. Thank you, NECA, for actually giving light up features. And the way and it's in it's a little light and it does have that flickering like it's a candle and it is so good. And all you do is you push down on the top right there. So it's a little bit up more, obviously, but when you push it in, it still doesn't look horrible. But the pumpkin is done so well, it has a nice wash over it. Um I really don't care if it shows this compartment right here in the screw because you're going to be facing it most likely here at an angle and stuff like that. Nothing, you're not going to be like, hey, let me have a pumpkin face like this. Granted, man, if they did a accessory pack that came with like some plain pumpkins or something or different carved pumpkins that weren't light ups, I mean, I mean, that would be pretty cool because I love this pumpkin look. Then we get into his weapons. I'll start with the least favorites. We get a poker and it's it's painted with like a silver wash or it is silver it's black or gray and it has a dry brushing of silver over it it's i mean it's okay you know it's nothing you know when i see this i think of you know jason so it's not really a weapon that i would give to michael then we get a very very cool um piece if you've seen the latest movie we get the nice bloody hammer and that blood paint they have has a nice shine to it and it's awesome so i could i could see michael having this you know in his hand you know caving somebody's skull in with it and then like the detail into the wood grain is just insane like they sculpted all the little grains and they did a nice wash to it and paint it it's just again it, it, i mean i can't help it but neca makes magic when it comes to figures and all these all these items and like weapons stuff are actually hard plastic. They're not gummy, which is a good thing, but then it also makes me worry that they might break. But this thing, we got ourselves a butcher knife. And I mean if this thing was metal, like it would definitely slice. It looks very, very nice. It would have been cool to get two different versions, like a bloody version and a regular version. Um and then you can see a little bit the paint is a nice shiny silver. And the detail is just remarkable. So good. Now let's dive into the figure after going through all those amazing accessories. And then we get this head sculpt on him. And now the reason we get that other one, because you can see, you see his eyeballs. And some people don't, don't care for having the ability to, to see, you know, the eyes inside the, the mask. And this is going to be hard to do. Let me see if I can get some light to shine on there. So there you go. You can see the eyes inside this sculpt. Just had to adjust the light because the mask does cover it pretty well. But even if you don't want to have, to have a chance of a glimpse of seeing the eyes, you want to switch the heads for sure. Then he does have like the sculpted in shirt underneath. His neck is sculpted very nicely. This whole little onesie is done very nice, very dark navy blue. Looks so good. Down to his little his boots. The boots are sculpted very nicely as well. And they got treading. But let's go over his articulation. So his head articulation. You can look down that far. You can look back that far. Full 360 type of movement. He's got a little attitude there. You know, he's just like, I'm Michael Myers. And then arm can go up this far. And he actually has double jointed elbows so very 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 good stuff and that's on both sides and then he comes with 
open hands. So the hands, this one's nice, has the blood coming off of it. Again, the blood paint that they use just makes the whole flesh tone and everything just pop even more. Looks so realistic. Wrists can rotate, and there is, you know, wrist bend in there as well. So a lot of articulation in this guy when you come in with his from his hands and arms and everything like that, which is great. Now he does have that rubber like coating like piece that goes over the body, but there is no like ab crunch or anything that's underneath this. This is just solid feeling. So there's no, I'm not, I can't bend them or do anything. But then again, it's, it is Michael. I mean, he's not going to be some ninja or Spider-Man that he needs to be, have all this crazy articulation. Now his legs, he could do the splits very, very well. I mean, I'm talking about full Van Dam, like insane amount of splits. And uh, kicking forward, he can do a, a nice Spartan kick. Uh, his knees do bend um, a little bit. Nothing too crazy. So don't try to go past this part or you're going to end up like, snapping a peg off so and then his boot he does get some ankle bend and you know the pivot going on there so your typical but really nice and solid NECA articulation so this figure is definitely great let's pop his head off because when I, I it's cool that you see the eyes and stuff you know in here but I'm just not a fan of this head so I'm gonna pop this off and you get the this is the peg that we get with NECA figures and then you put it in that little tiny hole and that's sometimes a challenge for this guy not so much so there we go I got the proper I like the the eyeless mask it just it's so much creepier so much better and then uh let's just, just get him posed up with some stuff and see what we can uh what we can do here so I got Michael posed up with the jack-o'-lantern carved head and his, you know, sister's tombstone with the jack-o'-lantern lit up and everything. And this is like a pose I'd probably have him on display with. I mean, he's got that iconic butcher knife. He's holding on to a human head. Um, even though I like the hand that's missing the fingers and the hammer and stuff, it just, I honestly feel like I would pose him this way. So this is just something that it's it's just so good. It is a very, very good figure, and I like it. I mean, if you're going to be setting up your horror collection and, and you have a display of, like, your Michael, Jason, Freddy, uh, a gremlin, an alien, you know, all that classic horror on a shelf, this is definitely a must-have to fill in that Michael Myers slot for sure. Definitely a huge shout-out to my boy Antonio Towns for finding this guy for me while he's out hunting. He was hitting up all-time toys, and uh, he saw it, snagged it for me because he knew I was looking for it because I needed him for my collection. And uh, that sums up my unboxing and review of NECA's Ultimate Michael Myers figure. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as I'm always pumping out a variety of different reviews of different figures and everything. And uh, I want you guys to make sure you check out Toy Code Toys and Collectibles. Both Facebook groups are down below. You have your community where you can join up, interact with your fellow nerds and collectors, talk figures, share figures, trade figures. It's a great community to be a part of. Then you got the second one, which is your pre order group. It is a group you can join in. You'll get alerts when pre-orders are coming out. You'll see pictures, the date, and the awesome pre-order price that you can get uh, get it for and take advantage of. And it just makes it convenient because you get these figures that are delivered directly to your doorstep. And you don't have to waste your time and gas. And it just guarantees you're getting them. But uh, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.